and, and a lot of what we do is to try to uncover somebody's um, level of optimism. I mean, that's really what we look for because what we've found at least, if somebody's really, really optimistic and you get them in through an interview and, and they're a good fit with your culture, um, chances are pretty good you're going to want to hire that person. They, uh, they might not last 10 years or five years or three years, but to get you through a season, you got a really good chance of an optimistic person getting you through your season this year. And one of the other things very quickly that, that I'm seeing trending with a lot of companies out there, they, um, the ones that have been really, really successful and really, really uh, have grown, we're now recruiting for not technicians right now, they're pretty settled in there, but we're looking for ops managers, office managers, all of a sudden general managers looking to pay them 70 grand a year to, to run my business, you right. know, 80 grand a year, things like that. That's what we're, we're seeing with the really, really good uh, growing companies out there that we've helped. I had a call with one of our mutual clients that is a recruiting client and a bookkeeping client yesterday, exactly talking about that. Need a general manager to, to take our business to the next level. And what can we pay? And so it was cool. We didn't we didn't plan this, but in hindsight, we should plan this. Your your team had provided some analysis of the labor market and what general managers are making from different uh, different big employers there that are like recognizable that we can point to. And here's where we generally see like the parameters, and here's some research. And then I could take that. You guys sent that to me, and I took it, and we did a P and L review with her, and we could see what like here's where this is going to play out. If we take this general manager and plug it in here and here's how much revenue you need to be able to afford that person. Here's how much they need to be able to grow the business and what it does to the business model. And that was pretty cool. She left that conversation feeling like really confident about being able to go. I think she, she came into it thinking like, I don't know what to do, but I think maybe I need a general manager and I don't know what they would make. And I don't even know if I can afford it to leaving a couple conversations with us being like, here's what I need my general manager to do. And here's how much I can afford to pay him. And here's how we're going to like manage this relationship. And here's how I'm going to go find him. And it was really cool to watch her confidence build because, because she wasn't, she was like kind of freaking out about it and was like, I don't even know if this is the right thing to do at all. I don't even know why I'm thinking of this. I just heard somebody else was doing it. So I tried to do it. And by the end of it, it was like, had a plan, you know, had a course of action. <laughs>